Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. This is the third and the final video in my series on how Apple broke my Windows bootcamp with Hi Sierra. If you want more detail on what happened, please watch the previous two videos. In summary, once I upgraded my 2010 MacBook Pro to Hi Sierra, although the Windows partition was visible in macOS, as you can see here, I found that once I had booted into Windows, my Macintosh partition was no longer visible. And whenever I tried to exit from Bootcamp back into macOS, I got this error, saying Bootcamp could not locate the macOS boot volume. So if you had selected Bootcamp as your primary boot drive, the only way to get back to macOS is to hold down Option during startup and then select your Mac volume. Very slick, Apple. So the purpose of this video is to show where Apple goes wrong during the bootcamp installation process and also what their current advice and current workaround for that problem is. But firstly, let's have a look at how to install Windows 10 on a MacBook that is no longer officially supported by Apple to run Windows 10, which runs on it perfectly well. According to this list, my MacBook Pro is two years older than the earliest MacBook that is supported which is ridiculous. Remember these? I was lucky enough to have purchased my version of Windows 8 on disk. The only way to get Windows 10 on a 2010 MacBook is to start with Windows 7 or Windows 8. Firstly, make a copy of all the Windows support software onto a USB drive. I think this is Bootcamp version 4 on this MacBook. One thing to watch out for is an error message during the download process, but just click OK and go back to Action and Download and it should continue with no problem. Then use Bootcamp Assistant to create your Windows partition. 96 gigs is more than enough for my needs. Then just hit install and away you go. Enter your Windows license here. Agree to the usual license requirements. Then you'll need to choose Custom, as this is a full install, not an upgrade. And finally, format your bootcamp partition. After several restarts, you will then get to choose your Windows settings. And then the final installation process took around 5 minutes to complete. Once that finishes, you can remind yourself just how awful Windows 8 was. The aspect ratio is all wrong here as the display drivers and all the other drivers haven't been installed yet. So connect the USB with the support software. And here I made a copy of this onto my desktop. Then run the setup file and bootcamp to start installing all the drivers. You can see here when the display sorts itself out. Once all the drivers are installed, the MacBook will need yet another restart. And here is the moment of truth. During the previous two attempts to install Windows on High Sierra, firstly on a beta version and then on the full release, I had assumed I had done something wrong during the Windows 10 install. But this time I remembered to check the available boot volumes following a supported Windows 8 install and there is no sign of my macOS volume. Good work Apple. So after a bit of digging I had found a whole thread on Apple support filled with disgruntled bootcamp users. Apple appears to have deleted that thread and replaced it with this advisory page published on the 4th of December 2017, two and a half months after the full release of High Sierra, and probably more than four months after I first let them know that there was a problem with Bootcamp in one of the early beta versions. So it's the Apple file system to blame. The message says, this system currently requires Startup Manager to switch. But in typical Apple style, no mention of when this might get fixed. Again, very slick Apple. So this is the workaround. 
hold down the option key during startup or during a reboot, select the startup volume, press return, rinse and repeat. Going back to the installation process, you may have noticed that as well as the bootcamp support software, I had also copied across a Windows 10 ISO. Once the Windows 8 had been set up and the drivers installed, open the setup application and the Windows 10 installation process will begin. After Windows installs, you might find your display once again has the wrong aspect ratio. What you need to do here is find a copy of the latest version of the bootcamp drivers. Here I'm saving them from my 2017 iMac. Of course, Apple aren't going to make this easy for you. The setup file will not run on unsupported Macs, but there is a way around it. What you will need is to be able to run an MSI file as an administrator. I will include a link to this How To Geek page in the description. Follow those instructions on how to edit the registry. Then ignore the setup application and navigate to the Drivers folder. There you'll find a, an Apple folder and right click on the Bootcamp MSI. This will install all the drivers needed to run Windows 10 Bootcamp, although you might find that Bootcamp itself requires an update by this stage. Windows 10 is now running well on this unsupported 2010 MacBook Pro. The only problem is of Apple's own making, so if you can live with using Startup Manager every time you want to switch operating systems, you're golden. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you didn't, you know what to do. See you in the next video.